the Google Maps widget allows you to display a Google Map with a pin that represents the location being passed to it from your SharePoint list. So this is pretty cool. Let me show you the back end here. We just have a SharePoint list for this example called Job Sites. I have three items in this list. You can see I have a job site title, street, city, state, zip. Then I have an address label. This is actually a calculated column, and I'm just concatenating all the address fields into one column for things like uh, printable labels. But for this example, we're going to use it to pass to the Google Maps widget as part of the Contivo forms. I'm also displaying some other things on this forum just to make it look a little um, less boring, I guess. I have some fields here pulling from my list. Also have this little uh, uh, weather underground widget. There's probably better widgets out there for uh, for weather stuff, but I figure for this example, it would be somebody interested in looking at the weather for a given job site and the exact location, and they could click on it and get directions or zoom down to street level, stuff like that. So to make this work, let's go to the back end here. Here's the form builder interface and you go to the widgets tab. You need to use the Google map widget. You drag that over to your palette and you click the edit pencil. And then there's a few things here you need to specify. For this example, I just deleted this because I didn't even want it to really display any kind of label on the field. It's obviously a map, so I don't need that. Location field, this is what I mentioned earlier. So. Google Maps API needs a, a full address. That's what you need to pass to it. So just passing a city, state, street, any of those independently, it's not really going to get the job done. I wanted to give it the, the exact address so the pin would be right on the money. So I use my address label. That's a calculated column back in that SharePoint list. The Google API key, largely you can ignore this. This comes into play if you're going to be rendering more than 25,000 maps per 24 hour period. And you can read up more on that when and if you ever need a Google API key, you can click this link and it's going to bring you over to the Google Maps API documentation. And then it says very early on in this document, 25,000 map loads per day, and it gets into the different rules there. So. You can probably ignore that. Default zoom level, hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. That's how much you want to zoom into the map by default. You want to play around with that until you get it the way you want it. Map height and width. Now, worth pointing out here, it's something odd about the API Google has. The height can be specified in pixels only. The width can be specified in pixels or percentages. It ends up working out fine because that way the percentage auto adjusts based off of your height in case you're wondering why they did that. Then you hit save and close. You can configure the rest of this the way you need it to. Add whatever fields you want to like I did. Um, I added a embed code widget to get that little uh, weather underground map on there and you save and close and then you'll have it. And this pin will pull from this SharePoint list that you have it pointed to. So right now we're looking at the DC job site. Let's look at the Alaska job site. To do that, all I have to do is go up here to the URL. You could have a list of these. And there we have it, the Alaska job site, job site 39. So that's the pin for that specific address. I can again change the job site to a different one. Now we're looking at the Seattle job site. That's how you use the Google Maps widget for Contivo Forms.